Hey everyone, it's Colin from GIY Guy. Thanks for checking out today's video. It's a beautiful Saturday morning in zone 7B. We're getting close to the month of June, which is about when you should have your tomatoes in the ground. Um, but we just had a good rain last night that put out some hot coals from a bonfire we had you know, a week ago, and it's still cooking under there, um, but we're gonna take some of that ash from the outskirts and use it in our garden. So today's video in this bright blinding sun uh, is all about how we can use wood ash in our garden, specifically for our tomato plants, because there is definitely some scientific evidence that says it will boost your production and your plant growth. After it raining for the last couple days, I was very surprised to come out here and find that this is all still just hot coal. I mean, I'm getting a little toasty just sitting next to it. Um, so I definitely thought that would be cooled down. Uh, rule number one when applying ash to your garden, don't use hot ash, otherwise you're gonna have um, fried tomato plants instead of fried green tomatoes. So I'm using a plastic shovel. Uh, you can kind of see around the, the edge of this ash pile where the color changes. So like kind of where it turns like a, a tannish color instead of the white here. The tan is the cooled off stuff, that's what we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna let this burn down another week or two. So wood ash has three elements that are really good for your garden soil and specifically tomatoes. It's got calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Now calcium is very commonly discussed among tomato growers because if you have a calcium deficiency, you're going to have blossom end rot. So definitely calcium in your garden is a good thing. Now some people think that it's a calcium deficiency in your soil that causes the end rot or it's a calcium deficiency uh, because your plant can't uptake the calcium that's already there in the soil. Uh, so you kind of got two camps there, that's a discussion for another video. But bottom line, calcium is good for your tomatoes. The second element, potassium, is great for flowering plants. Uh, it definitely boosts your flower count, uh, which in turn is gonna improve and increase your fruit production. And then finally, you've got magnesium, which is good for growing strong, green, leafy plants. Um, because if you have a magnesium deficiency, it's gonna lead to curling and yellow leaves on your tomatoes, which in turn is probably just gonna kill the plant. One note on using wood ash in your garden, make sure it is clean wood. Um, don't use wood ash from you know treated pallets or garbage that you had around your house from the week before. Uh, make sure like, like this pile was just cut down branches, cut down trees, and it's just pure wood ash. What we're gonna do this morning with my plastic shovel, because if the plastic melts, then it's too hot for the garden. And so, same with the bucket. Uh, but we're gonna take about a gallon, maybe two gallons of, you know, just this wood ash here. Try to avoid any big chunks of, you know, charcoal like that. But we're gonna get a couple gallons, and we're gonna take it over to the garden, and we're gonna spread it around our plants. Obviously, we didn't make much of a dent in this pile of ash, but you can use the rest or you know, a couple gallons at least on your compost pile, depending on how big it is. Uh, you just want it to be maybe you know, three to 5% of your pile. Don't make it like half ash. <laughs> um, but then you can just throw the rest in the weeds. You can spread it around the rest of your garden, whatever. You don't have to use the whole pile. So here we've got our four little cherry tomato plants. I don't care much for the big tomatoes, but I do like the tricolor cherries, uh, so, but they'll work the same. So another benefit of wood ash is that it can neutralize acidic soil. Uh, it, can, it can help balance your pH. Uh, wood ash is a lot like a lime um, amender, uh, it's, except it's more water soluble. So lime is you know, very basic, but it takes a little bit longer to actually dissolve into your soil. Uh, so this is a little more fast acting solution. Now the reason you want a neutralizer is because tomatoes like a pH just about seven, maybe a little bit less than seven. But if the soil is too acidic, then your tomatoes are gonna have a hard time actually taking up the nutrients from the soil. So as we do this, we don't wanna you know, bury these in wood ash. And again, make sure the wood ash is cooled down. Um, but we're gonna take probably a cup, maybe two cups, and just spread it around the perimeter of the tomato plant. Uh, just make sure not to get it on any leaves, or if you do, make sure you rinse it off. Um, but this is going to help, you know, add those elements that we talked about earlier. It's going to help neutralize the pH. Now, I don't have much of a much of acidic soil. Uh, mine's pretty basic. It's around seven, seven and a half, so we're good there. But I do want to add those uh, those uh, minerals. And then the other benefit of adding wood ash is that it's gonna repel slugs. And I definitely have a slug problem. I've seen them on lettuce. Michaela almost ate a piece of lettuce with a slug on it because I didn't clean it very well. Um, but wood ash has salt in it. And you know, if you've ever put salt on a leech or a, sl or a slug, um, you know, it doesn't like it at all. And so um, this is gonna do the same thing. If you surround the tomato plant with some wood ash, 
that salt is gonna, you know, keep them from climbing up the stem of the tomato and eating all your leaves. It doesn't look super pretty. You could move back the, the, the leaves or the mulch around your plants and then cover the ash when you're done, but I don't really care about that. I'm sure it'll rain here again this week and it'll, it'll kind of dissolve it back into the soil. And to be honest, it's not gonna hurt your soil if you get it everywhere else. You know, if you, if you wanna sprinkle some out here in the middle, all it's gonna do is good things for your dirt. Uh, it's just like a little bit of an amender, a little bit of compost, if you will, and the tomato plants are gonna love it. And I'll actually get into uh, just a small note about some research that I read that actually proves that wood ash is gonna benefit your tomatoes. So if you made it through this video and you've seen other videos where crazy farmers are just spreading wood ash on their tomato plants, and maybe you think it's some you know gimmick or fake news or maybe just a hack for gardeners to create more video content, I can assure you it's not. Uh, I actually found a journal article from Brazil don't remember when it was posted, but I'll post the link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, this Brazilian journal article, they studied uh, tomatoes and their growth when there was an ash additive versus uh, plants without the ash additive. And it actually had some good results. So let me get my, my notes out to give you the percentages. So all these percentages are in terms of uh, increase compared to the non-ash tomato plants. But the ash additive increased the plant height by 12 to 18%. It increased the leaf count by 12 to 13 percent and it increased the fruit by 27 percent which who doesn't want to increase their fruit count by 27 percent so i thought that was super cool uh, they added 140 grams of wood ash uh, i think 140 grams comes out to be maybe a quarter cup or something like that i think 600 grams is about a cup but to be honest um, the density of the ash changes depending on how wet it is so i'm not sure how they measured it maybe it was a dry volume so there's some definitive proof that adding wood ash to your tomato plants actually works. Now, what I'm not suggesting is going down and cutting every tree in your backyard uh, to burn down and make wood ash for fertilizer. But if you have a bonfire, if you have a wood burning stove or something like that, if it's just convenient, uh, by all means, pull out the ash, spread it on your garden. It doesn't have to be just tomatoes. You can spread it anywhere. Uh, throw the extra in your compost or you know, use it to salt your driveway in the wintertime. Now one thought I just had as I'm recording this video, I think I'm actually going to scrape back some of this wood ash and I'm gonna leave one plant uncovered from the ash. And after, you know, two or three months, we're gonna look at these tomato plants and we're gonna see which ones did the best. And my guess will be that it's these three and not the one that I scraped the wood ash away from. So there we go, we've got an actual science experiment. We've got three tomatoes with wood ash applied to them. We've got one without. In two months, we're gonna see how they do. And that's all I've got for today's video. Keep growing yourself, and I'll catch you in the next one.